Bill Blair joins us now from our studios in Ottawa. Thank you for taking the time to come and be on CTV today. Of course, Todd. Thank you. Now, we already have a public safety minister, as you know, Ralph Goodale, an immigration minister as well. Why do we need a border security minister? What are you going to be doing that doesn't uh, fall under their uh, portfolio? Well, I think what our government is attempting to do is bring additional focus to, to areas of significant concern for Canadians. And, and I'll be working very collectively and collaboratively with both Minister Goodall and Mr. Minister Hussein. Um, I've spoken to both uh, men, and, and I, I see our work as uh, in, entirely uh, co collective in, in, in this responsibility, uh, and we'll be working together. In, in my last job, uh, which was primarily responsible for uh, the, the cannabis file, I worked with the Minister of Public Safety, Justice, and Health and in order to, to get this done, and, and I, I think that's the right collective approach to public safety issues. Is the creation of this ministry a uh, admission, really, or a recognition, anyway, that there is an issue at the border? No, I, I, actually, what I what I believe it is is it's a, it's an acknowledgement that 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 there are concerns uh, among Canadians and that I can be of assistance. You know, I've I've got a bit of experience in issues around public safety from my my previous job as as a police officer and a police chief, and and I hope to bring that experience uh, to to the. Uh, files that the Prime Minister has given me responsibility for. I've also got a couple of years of experience now in working in very close collaboration with the Minister of Public Safety, the Minister of Justice, Minister of Health, and, and the Minister of Immigration. And, I, and I'm really looking forward to the opportunity to work as part of that team. Um, it is a whole of government uh, response to the, the, the many challenges uh, created around border integrity, border security, and, and those issues, and also dealing with public safety issues arising from such things as gang violence and other organized crime activities. Speaking of your approach, I'm curious what it's going to be. You know that more than 20,000 people have crossed over into Canada illegally in the past 18 months, and I know there is a war over language being used here. Some say they are illegal, they're lawbreakers jumping the queue. Others are saying no one is illegal. Let's put that aside for a moment, but I want to ask you whether you think we do need a tougher approach to what is going on, tougher enforcement of the border. Well, I've, I've, I've just gone through a, an afternoon of briefings and on, on this issue. Um, I, I think it's very important that I, I, I want the opportunity to go down and look at what is actually taking place, particularly in Quebec, um, uh, with, with people who are regularly crossing into this country. I think it's a very complex issue, and I think it requires... Um, a, a great deal of additional focus and work. We've already made some very sub substantial commitments of financial support for uh, provinces and for municipalities directly in, in order to assist with the impact that this is having. But, but, it, but it is an issue of, of great complexity. It requires that we work collaboratively internationally, but also with our provincial territorial partners and with municipalities to address the impact that, that this is having. And at the same time, I think it's also important to acknowledge that you know, the, we have international uh, obligations and the Charter of Rights and Freedoms, which we are absolutely committed to upholding uh, in, in our country. And, and Canada, Canada has always been um, a, a safe place for asylum seekers. But we have due process and, and legal processes that will also be followed. Speaking of working with your partners, your government has already sparred with Ontario's new Premier Doug Ford on the issue of these border crossings. And for people watching across the country, they may not be aware, but there have been issues in the past, uh, Mr. Blair, between yourself and the Ford family. The Fords at one point went after you when you were police chief of Toronto. And I'm curious what that means for the future of your relationship with the new Premier. Does it poison the mood at all? Actually, no, absolutely not. You know, we, the, the Premier of Ontario and our government have a responsibility to the people of Ontario and the people of Canada to work co collaboratively together to get the job done. You know, we have a responsibility, and there is no greater responsibility for any government than the safety and security of their citizens. And I am very confident that we will be able to work with, with the new uh, Ontario government uh, in, order to, in order to address the concerns of the people of Ontario. And, and the, 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 any, any history is, is, is just that, it's history. We've got a responsibility to go forward together, and, and, and I'm very confident we will. Canada's immigration minister recently called out the Ontario government over its use of language over this issue of border crossings. Uh, do you think that Ontario needs to get on board, or are they uh, running rogue when it comes to this? Well, and, and again, I'm not, I'm not going to engage in, 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 in sort of name-calling or rhetoric on this, I've had an opportunity to, to speak uh, fairly recently to Minister McLeod. 
Um, I, I'm, I'm really looking forward to the opportunity to work with the, the Ontario government. We all have a collective responsibility to address the concerns that, that are raised by Canadians and also to deal with our international obligations and uphold our charter. I'm very confident that we'll be able to work through these issues. I look forward to the opportunity to engage in that work. One other thing, too, in terms of the organized crime component of this new ministry, you know there is a big issue of gun violence in the city of Toronto, and I'm curious how you plan to incorporate some of that. No doubt it'll be shared once again with public safety and, and Minister Goodale as well. But but how do you approach that? I mean, you had frontline experience in the city of Toronto, and, and these shootings are creating national headlines. Yes, well, as, as, as you, you may be aware, I was the police chief in 2005 during what was then dubbed the Summer of the Gun, and, and we brought a number of very important interventions uh, in place that, in their time, were quite effective. I've had conversations with Mayor Tory um, and with Chief Saunders in, in Toronto. It's, it's an issue that, you know, I, I think everyone is, is, is working very hard on. I think the government of Canada has a role to play, and, and we're quite, quite committed to working collaboratively with, with the mayor, with, with municipalities and provinces and territories across the country to address this concern. And, you know, in, in my experience, when all three levels of government uh, come to the table, work collectively together on these issues, that's where we'll find you know, solutions, long-term solutions, to keep our communities safe. Bill Blair is Canada's new Minister for Border Security, Organized Crime Reduction. Mr. Blair, thank you for coming on CTV and congratulations on the new portfolio. Thank you very much, Doug.